Hi folks, it's Nate Picos of Blambot, and welcome to Lettering Live. Today I've got Minor Threats, The Alternates, number 2, page 14 for you. So this is a bit of a short episode, but it involves some interesting balloons. So within the Minor Threats universe, there's a drug called Prestige. And occasionally we get to see through the eyes of people who are high on this drug. And everything is very colorful and swirly, and I decided to develop some balloons that would complement this look. Now, they involve some offset paths and some multiple colors, and they can get a little bit involved. And this can be a bit of a cautionary tale for letterers in that semi-complicated balloons take longer to design and are less malleable than standard balloons, because eventually there will be revisions and dialogue may change, and this may change the shape of the balloons. And in this case, I would want to probably recreate these from scratch when that happens. Um, so there's also a transition version of this balloon on this page. There's a panel where somebody is in the process of getting high and their dialogue changes from standard to trippy. And you'll see me figure out how to do that live on the page. Uh, finally, the dialogue font used for Minor Threats is Out of Line Pro. And I think that's all I've got for you, so on with the show. So here we are in my template for Minor Threats. Take a look at the script, and then I'm going to drop the artwork into the art layer. And copy and paste my oval and flat top oval area type objects into each panel and start copying text in. The flat top uh, oval here is obviously for balloons that butt up against panel borders. So this second panel is the transition panel I talked about in the cold open. This is the character who's in the process of getting high. The second balloon here that says the colors is the one that's going to be the transition balloon. But I think actually uh, in corrections we even made that first balloon in panel two a transition balloon. I did the corrections about a week ago, so. Checking my text. And you can see where these middle panels, you know, we're full on into the effects of the drug. Things are kind of scary and colorful. And I just changed the weight there with character styles. Copying and pasting, deciding on placements. It's nice on uh, pages like this when you've got plenty of room for, for dialogue balloons. I'm not fighting to squeeze things in. And now I'm going to drag my balloons where I will need them. Picking out balloons based on the sort of the perimeter shape of the text. You can see that one's more rectangular, so I picked a more rectangular balloon. And then I impermanently join them, and there's my fun little uh, action that I designed to make off-panel tails. I also make connectors with it. Now typically I make my balloon tails on the fly, um, but squiggly tails are a pain. They take up too much time. So I've made some squiggly tails over the years that I really like and I've held on to them and as I reuse them just to save a minute. But you see that's just a standard tail and I just I just put that together with the pen tool real quick. There's that trippy balloon. So this appeared on one page in the first issue, I think, and I fell into the classic letterer's trap of, I'm going to do something complicated because I'm only going to need to do it once. And uh, when you think that, 
just know that it's never the case. In subsequent issues, you will be using it all the time. And it'll be your own fault for making that decision. So these balloons uh, were some weird, swirly, swampy looking balloons that I designed uh, several years ago, probably. And I've barely used them. So it was nice to uh, modify them in a way that made them useful. So you'll see as I move along here, there's a bunch of offset paths. I'm, I'm using that initial black swirly outline and creating offset path upon offset path outside it. And each one is a different color with a different uh, stroke from purple to orange to yellow. And this is the transition. So I'm taking a look at the one, the full-blown uh, trippy balloon. And I'm starting to scheme about how do I make it somewhere in between a standard balloon and the crazy effect. And I'm doing a gradient fill here on the stroke. Not something I do hardly ever. From black to the, the sort of purpley color that the rest of the full-blown trippy balloons are. Offset path. And I just joined the swirly tail to the balloon. And here I'm just, I have no idea how to do this going in. I had no plan. And I'm just thinking it through on the page. Sampling colors. I don't want to go too crazy. Can't be too colorful yet. I think I end up using some transparency here. But I guess I'll get back to that. I don't know why I skipped ahead. Probably give it more thought while I've finished up the other balloons that I already know how to do. So you can see each one offset path, color, offset path, color, and I'm using the eyedropper tool to sample colors from that original balloon from issue one. Now these two balloons are joined, or they're going to be, there you go. So now I've got to join each of the colors, each of the offset paths. And the text in these balloons is that sort of dusty purple color. And I contemplated making the dialogue a little wobbly in these, but I don't know if that would be overkill. It probably would be, so I decided against it. Adding a wiggly tail and adding a calligraphic stroke to the balloons and clipping mask to clip that to the panel border now oh, there's that troublesome transition balloon still haven't finished it I guess I'm saving it till the end. Clipping mask to butt that against the panel border. Needed to be nudged a little bit. And of course, all these clipping masks are impermanent. So when and if there are corrections, I can just undo these things and redo them. So there you saw me just draw a line, a squiggly line with the pencil tool and then I use my off-panel tail action to make it into a tail. Clipping mask. I don't think there are any more clipping masks on this page. I just used an action to get rid of all the unused assets outside my artboard. And we are back to that troublesome transition. So there's the transparency I talked about, that yellow one in the back I made transparent. You'll see me zoom in and out a couple times here to see how it looks against the, the colors of the page. And I think I'm done. I think that was it. So I'm going to update the page number in my template and save the file. And that's all.